I'm going to go ahead and paste the question, and I'll just give you some time to read it over. Okay, so uh, given the binary to return to the level order traversal of its nodes, values uh, from left to right, level by level, okay, so this looks like 3, 9, 20, 15, and 10. So in this case, we want to return uh, 3 to the first level, then uh, the second level is going to be um, 9 and 20, and then 15, 17. Um, okay, yes, that makes sense. So a couple of questions to clarify. So um, should I return, should it be the orders from left to right, is it right? Like, yeah. let's say if it takes, okay, I see. Um, and uh, I assume if I will have like zero nodes, if my binary tree is going to be just none, in this case, I should return like empty array, is, is it right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, so let me see what I can do. Uh, so I feel like what I can do is like I can I can simply do some kind of like a BFS traversal. So it's going to be like BFS uh, traversal. Uh, so in the BFS I'll go like so <coughs> level by level, uh, and then uh, I'll just simply be like adding the elements to uh, to my queue, but not to, not to the queue to the result to my uh, to my result set. So it's going to be something like that. Um, I'll have like a two visit queue, which is going to be okay with this one. And the two visit queue uh -huh. in of uh, of the element is going to be containing like the nodes, the nodes that I have to visit, and uh, also the level. So initially it's going to be just zero, and let's say it's going to be the root. So in this case we know that this one is a, <coughs> so we know like the level, and we yeah. know the kind of like what. Kind of like footnote. So in this case, we can easily like add it to our like uh, let's say we we'll have some kind of like result list. We can easily write yep. the result. So I feel like I can actually start coding it. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, but one thing I wanted to ask is uh, yep. what's the uh, complexity for the solution? Uh, okay, so the BFS or BFS is usually it's number of edges plus time plus plus number of uh, nodes. So in my case, uh, the complexity of this one is going to be, uh, let me see, so it's going to be three. So it's going to be just simply number of nodes in my binary tree. Right. So you're saying just, okay. uh, got it, linear. Like like all the nodes, like number of nodes in my in my tree. Yeah, uh, that sounds good to me. Um, just okay. one thing I also wanted to bring out is if you've, uh, you know, done this question before or any of the questions that we go over, just let me know and I can uh, pull out another one as well. But uh, okay. given that, uh, okay. yeah, sure, I guess we're good to go and you can code this out. Okay, so let me write it down. Uh, so let's call it level order. <clears throat> level order. So, so I assume I'll have the root as my input. Is yeah. That? Okay. Cool. Uh, so in this case, I can just simply I can already say like if uh, let's say if not root, so if root doesn't exist, then I'll just put some empty list. Uh, then then I'll just define my to this. So this one I'll be using. Uh, let me import. Um, I'm going to be using DQ. Of collections import DQ. This is going to be my DQ. Where I'll have the list. So initial is going to be just zero root. And then here is going to be my result. It's going to be result set. So after that, I will just do this in while to while the element in my to this queue. Uh, what I'll do, so I'll have to pass the uh, left most. So let me just do level and then the node. And after that, what I will do is this one. This will to visit my top left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after that, I will just check if. Um, so the first one is going to be if level is going to be more equal to the length of my result. If yes, then I can just add the new and accept the new set. And after that, what I will do, I will access the next one. So it's going to be result at level dot append um, should be current node that I assume that I will have to sort the value so it's going to be that value right. um, after that um, I have to check if my uh, car node that left if the left one exists then we will um, we will append it to my uh, to visit queue so in this case it's going to be car uh, car node that left 
left. And the same thing with right. So if car node dot right, then to visit that and so here it's going to be car node dot right. Um so it's going to be car right. So in this case after that I go on it. Yeah. So I feel like this should be fine. So let me just go over like let's say I'm kind of like an example to see if that actually works. So let me copy the example sure. that you gave me down here. Uh, so let's say it's three. After that, so three is going to be in my DQ. Oh, I forgot so here should be the people. So let me correct it. So this one is going to be level plus one. Here's going to be level plus one. So in this case, let me go over it. So let's say we go with three, so three is going to be my root. Then I kind of initialize my two is U. So it's going to be this one the Q. After that, uh, um, I have a check if level is going to be more than more equal to the length of the result. Yes, initially it's more equal to the length of the result. So after that, I append the new kind of like list into my result. After that, I I set this one so it's going to be I'll have some is like so this one let's say this one's going to be my result one. And initially I will have three there and nothing else. So after that, um, so nothing else after that. I check like if kind of left, it, if it has left and right children, yes, it has both of them. So in this case, I uh, append uh, to the end, I select one and so, and then I append the right one. So I append like nine and 20 to my two visit queue. After that, I go to nine. Uh, and then this nine, uh, so let me see. So in this case, when I go to nine, uh, I insert the new list there, so it's going to be nine. Uh, after that, uh, I check if there are any nodes with nine. No, there are like no nodes. Uh, uh, no children. There are no children from my nine, so that's why I go to twenty. Uh, after that, twenty is going to be in my yeah in my two visits. So in this case, I pop to the left, so it's going to be twenty. After that, right. I put here. So then 20 has like two more children, so in the 15 and 17. So that's why I inserted to my two visit with like a pain and with increased level count. So at that point, it's going to be two. Um, and then, yeah, so I feel like that this one should be fine. So let me just check, like, let's say we have like, um, say we have one and two, something like that. So, which are going to be children of nine and uh, I'm going to be like that. So in this case, uh, I should get like um, 920, and then it should be 1, 2, uh, 15, and 7. Uh, so in this case, let me see. So in this case, uh, after I append, not, so in this case, let me just simulate how, what I will have like in my two visits. And initially, in the two visits, I will have like 3. After that, 3 is deleted, and then I have 9 and 20. After that, 9 is deleted, and then I append 1 and 2. After that, 20 is deleted, and then I append like uh, 15 and 10. Yeah, so this one should be fine. So I can probably write some kind of like test cases. So, um, oh, in this case, I should also probably create like a, like a tree node. So, right. So let's say it's going to be kind of like that. So, wow, well, oh, right. this. Then self at well, it's going to be wow and self self at um left is going to be left and self at right is going to be right. Okay. So in this case let me kind of like define down here so let's say we have a rule. I think uh I'm gonna go ahead and say that this uh because it takes a while usually to create the actual test cases with trees, so I'm going to say uh, this is probably good. Um, I, I know normally okay. I'd ask for people to, you know, actually go through and write the tests, but this looks mm -hmm. good to me. And okay. I think we can actually, you know, there's just one small of not returning res, but I'm sure you would have. You know, oh, yeah. You would, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like a yeah. small typo. Uh, I think we can go with another question if uh, that sounds good to you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I think you pretty much uh, like uh, got this with the test cases that uh, they needed, especially with the edge case of uh, empty tree. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 